I feel you, Austin. I feel you. Hockey. But in your case, the Leafs win. That's right, the Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Pittsburgh Penguins 4-1 to one at home, 50% capacity. It was great seeing people there. You could hear them. Yes, it was weird still seeing empty seats, but that's coming. March 1st, I believe. March 1st. I, I hope a few of my friends in Canada can go to some games. And on this amazing, absolutely phenomenal occasion of the Leafs beating the Pittsburgh Penguins and... Just, I'm going to be honest with you, the return of Jack Campbell and one Morgan Riley. Yep, wearing my wife's jersey. Her favorite player is Morgan Riley. And wow, did he show up tonight along with Jack Campbell and a few others. Austin Matthews, who lost a few chicklets there. Um, unlike me, I got a high stick today. Uh, we lost 13 to 5. Uh, Austin Matthews ran into the crossbar while chasing Sidney Crosby because that's what you do. You have to follow Sidney Crosby. You're not paying attention to anything else. Boom, lose some chicklets. But hey, he set a, a new record, 21 uh, seconds in, gets his 30, 33rd, 34th goal of the year. I don't know. He's tied for number one, I believe. He's going to win the Rocket Richard. I'm telling you right that now. Bank it. Um, 21 seconds in, the Leafs score. Phenomenal. Um, you play the, the game plays through. Campbell has to make some good saves, some point blank saves. Same with Jari. I thought Jari was good tonight. No, he didn't face 45, well, 46 shots like Jack Campbell. He faced, what, 26 maybe? Um, but I thought he, he gave Pittsburgh a chance to, to come back. Jack Campbell. Did, did Pittsburgh get goalie tonight? No. Um, I believe Jack Campbell saw the puck really well. He had a stumble. It, like three minutes into the game, I think, behind the net, spun around, got his toe on a save. That was almost a dang it, but no, it was it was a good little play. Uh, good recovery. Um, he made a few nice glove saves. The only goal that beat him was in the third period. I think it was the third period anyway, and it was Evgeny Malkin. They had a few chances there. I think it was like two or three whacks at it before Malkin put it in the empty net. Lee's defenders, like my team earlier today, was just kind of standing there like, what do we do? Um, but... To be honest with you, the rest of the game, uh, they cleared the net as well as they could, better than usual. Um, even though when you know there was traffic there, Jack Campbell was out on top of his crease. He was holding in the rebounds. He played really, really well. He made a few nice saves, some key saves in this game. Uh, so obviously, Austin Matthews scores, made it one nothing. Um, then shorthanded, no. No, whoa, what am I doing? And then the Leafs on the power play, lots of power plays tonight for both Toronto and Pittsburgh. Uh, Toronto was phenomenal once again. I think they are the top team um, when you add in penalty kill percentage and uh, power play percentage, so that's phenomenal. Um, next up is obviously Florida because they're stacked. I think it's Florida anyway, or Carolina, one of those two ridiculous teams. Anyway, power play. And I really like this. And I don't, I don't understand why Morgan Riley doesn't do this more often. He always looks for that drop back pass, right? Like looks over the shoulder, doesn't he? He's a lefty. Anyway, Jack Campbell feeds him. Primary assist for Jack Campbell, by the way. Um, and Morgan Riley skates up the ice. And Pittsburgh takes away the drop pass. So he goes, oh, I'll carry on. And, oh, there's Brian Boyle. I can skate around him. Oh, there's Mourinho. Why are you way over there? I guess I'll just keep skating. One little move across over here. Next thing you know, he's like, oh, I, I, can, sh I can shoot this. And he wires a wrister. Boom. Just over the shoulder. It was, it was a phenomenal shot. Uh, Morgan, do that more often. You, you're a great skater. You got a decent wrister because you don't take a slap shot, so this is perfect for you. Um, and then it makes teams question what to do and it opens up that drop pass again to Mitch Austin whoever you're going to drop it to what a goal needed two nothing then the other special teams leaves around the penalty kill and it's Morgan Riley again uh with, with David Kampf and or Camp, however you want to say it Morgan uh Camp blocks the shot or like pressures uh Letang at the point Letang gives it up uh Morgan goes the other way. The tank dives out. He holds it and feeds it across. And just like me and my buddy Andrew uh, used to do an NHL, probably 12, 12, 13 maybe. And we played uh, 
us two in, in NHL. Um, what we would do is one guy would go wide, you'd feed it down, and you would just receive the puck. Instead of taking the one-timer, you'd just come back across the goalie and score. That's what Camp did here. Yes, Jerry knocked off the post, but it doesn't matter. I'm glad they changed that rule. Boom, 3 nothing. Um, like I said, yes, in the third period, Malkin does score to make it 3-1, but that's okay. Uh, Mitch Marner blocks a shot, and he was sore. He was sore. Leafs go the other way. It's him, Matthews, and Bunting. Uh, they get the puck back to Marner. He kind of whacks at it and then feeds it to Matthews. And the backhand sauce that Austin Matthews gave Bunting was phenomenal. Lands on his stick. Bunting, with a swoop, goes to his backhand. Literally the opposite of what David Camp did. Just the other side, I mean. And boom, wide open net, and it's 4-1. Then after that, um, I think there might have been a post in there. William Nylander had a chance. Uh, Jack Campbell had to make a few big saves. Jerry made a save here or there. And then Austin Matthews lost his teeth, chasing Sidney Crosby. That sucks, but hey, he's got good dental, of course. I don't. Um, at least win 4-1. And Jack Campbell made 45, 46 saves. And the special teams, they scored on both the power play and the penalty kill. And Jason Spezza caught Kasperi Kapanen in a foot race. And Justin Hall wasn't a detriment to the team. Uh, Sandine got turned around once because he was playing the offside, but he adjusted really well. Travis Dermott didn't do too many spinorama things. At least he didn't lose a puck. Or that I didn't notice, anyway. That I noticed. Uh, didn't lose a puck on one of his little spinoramas. Um, Damn, the Leafs are good, eh? Uh, they're so good, Adam Brooks was claimed off waivers and they put back on. Guaranteed, it's just to hopefully get him to the AHL. No one claims him, and then they could throw him on the taxi squad. Same with Richie. Now, speaking of Richie, where is he going to go? They, they got to shore up that, what? I think if he gets traded, they shore up, like, what, 900000 maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, that trade's got to come. It's got to come. Um, D were good. Lilligren's obviously in the AHL because he can be because of cap reasons. I think they had someone else, in my opinion, please not, Ben Sherratt. Uh, that's a lot. That was kind of a lot of rambling there. Let me know what you thought of the game tonight. How did Toronto do? They beat the Pittsburgh freaking Penguins. Pittsburgh Penguins who were top team in the Metropolitan. 4-1. Even though they got out shot. It was like the other way around, except even though they got out shot, I thought the Leafs played a very, very solid game. I'm pretty sure... They had more offensive time than Pittsburgh. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know. Anyway, what do you think of the game? What do you think of the Leafs beating the Pens? And where do you think they go from here? Let me know down below. See you later. See you next time. Go Leafs. Go.